carbon dioxide is one of the greenhouse gases that are very very dangerous to the climate hello i'm benedict welcome to my channel today we talk about carbon dioxide climate change we talk about greenhouse gases and um, what is the contribution of plants in climate change how does plant mitigate climate change um, you know last video we talked about the oxygen we breathe in and then we breathe out carbon dioxide today we will dissect what actually carbon dioxide does to the climate and how plant comes in mitigating its effect to ensure that we have clean climate subscribe to my channel don't go away we are going to unpack all of them in this channel today what is climate change climate change has to do with change in complexity of the of our climate as a result of natural or as a result of human induced activities the natural causes of climate change include change in solar activity change in volcanic activities and climate oscillation but today we speak more about the human induced or uh, human contribution to this climate change number one contribution is what is called greenhouse gases number two we have what is called aerosol number three we have what is called uh, change in land uses okay then when you talk about aerosols aerosols are kind of droplets of dust suits smokes that accumulate in the atmosphere Aerosols are also harmful to our climate. So these greenhouse gases are gases that absorb and emit radiation, like eight radiations. They include carbon dioxide, methane, um, nitrous oxide, and other hydrocarbon gases. Water vapor is also part of uh, the greenhouse gases. Water vapor are obtained as a result of um, evaporation of water or during cooking or boiling of water. Also, by as a result of sublimation of ice. This is how water vapor is formed. Carbon dioxide is what we breathe out during respiration. Uh, carbon dioxide also can be obtained through the burning of fossil fuels. Methane gas is produced in agriculture through livestock. You see um, ruminant animals like cow, goat, those animals that eat uh, vegetables, they, they have different kinds of stomach. They have different compartments uh, and their digestion is different from ours. Now there are um, a lot of microbes in the lumen. So by so doing, they generate methane, methane gas in the process of digestion. It is called fermentation. So this gas is then diffuses to the atmosphere and contributes to the destruction of our climate. It is part of these um, greenhouse gases. The nitrous oxide is generated by farmers when they use fertilizer. So application of fertilizer actually produces nitrous, nitrous oxide. That is why people are advised to use uh, compost or more natural manure in the production or in agriculture. Greenhouse gases can be generated in transportation. Remember, um, all these are motorcycles and cars, they use fossil fuels, they use oil, all this combustion of engine, they generate carbon dioxide. This carbon dioxide, uh, some of the carbon monoxide, oxidized to carbon dioxide, and then they accumulate in the atmosphere and then become a terror to our climate. In, um, in power plants, where they normally burn coal and other natural gases, also they generate carbon dioxide in the process. Okay, so I've spoken about agriculture generation, transportation, and I've spoken about the, the industrial generation and in power plants. From 1750, when the uh, when industrial revolution was born, the concentration of carbon dioxide 
and the atmosphere by 1750 was 108 ppm. By the year 2019, the concentration of carbon dioxide in atmosphere is about 415 ppm. Could you see the significant increase of concentration of carbon dioxide from 1950 when the uh, Industrial Revolution was born in 2018? from 208 ppm to 415 ppm, that's a lot. The, the lifetime for carbon dioxide on the atmosphere is about 30 to 95 years. 30 to 95 years, carbon dioxide stays on the atmosphere. Wow. And then it's causing harm to the climate. Carbon dioxide. Methane gas lasts about 12 years, plus or minus 12 years on the atmosphere, causing harm to the climate. Water vapor, as I said before, is about 9 days. That's not long. There's this hydrocarbon tetrafluoromethane that lasts about 50,000 years on the climate. 50,000 years on the climate. That's too long of causing problem to our climate. Nitrous oxide lasts about 121 years on our climate that's horrible so now how do we make sure that our climate is safe or is clean from these greenhouse gases that causes a greenhouse effect you see the greenhouse effect or the climate change result to a lot of a lot of um, uh, outcomes for example there is increase in temperature, drought, there is extinctions of animal and plants. In fact, we have lost a lot of plant species and animal species as a result of climate change. A lot, something needs to be done. We can't keep losing plant species and animal species because of climate change. I think ice are melting, uh, our ocean is getting overflowed, the rivers are getting overflowed. Um, a whole lot of things are happening. How do we mitigate this effect that happens? Number one, to get rid of water vapor from atmosphere, um, it can be done through condensation or precipitation. This is a natural way of getting rid of water vapor. Number two, methane gas can be removed from atmosphere by chemically reacting with hydroxy radical. Actually, naturally occurring hydroxy radical. Uh, is capable of oxidizing methane gas by so doing it reduce its effect. We should be encouraged to use low carbon energy in the generation of electricity. For example, the use of solar is encouraging. The use of hydroelectricity is encouraging. You know, solar you can use sunlight to generate electricity instead of the carbon sources, instead of the fossil fuels. You can use water to generate electricity. That's where we are hydroelectricity comes into play. Instead of using these fuel, oil, natural gases that, that, that generate carbon dioxide and harm our planet. Okay, there should be innovations on technologies that encourages the use of natural products. And also we must cut down in the consum consumption of meats and go more in vegetables and natural products. Um, nitrous oxide can be mitigated by the use of organic money instead of the fertilizer. The carbon dioxide now, which we breathe out or as a result of the burning of biomass, can actually be captured by plants. Plants have a way of uh, using them for photosynthesis to make food and produce oxygen. So that's why you are encouraged to, to plant more trees. Encourage afforestation instead of deforestation. They will actually capture this carbon dioxide and make our climate better. Okay, so there's a whole lot plant can do for us. Thank you for watching. Um, provided you subscribe to our channel and keep watching, there are more that are coming. Thank you.